Hello and welcome. This is Barb with Just Be Stamping Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I'm glad you're here. Today I am sharing a project for the Night Angels Global Video Hop, where we are creating cards off of this sketch. I changed the sketch slightly, replacing the circles with square postage stamp dies for a different look. And all of my measurements are in the description box below, as well as a list of the products I used to create this card. I am using some products from the new annual catalog that launches in May, including two new colors, Pretty in Pink and Basic Beige. The bird image and my sentiment are from the beautiful new Country Birdhouse stamp set, which also has coordinating dies. I will also be using two dies from the perennial postage die set, a square and a label. And then the die cut for the bird image as well from the birdhouse dies. And I am also using a retiring embossing folder, Countryside Blossoms, which is on sale right now as part of the last chance promotion. Definitely check that out on stampingup.ca. Let's get started. My base is created from the new Basic Beige, which is a lovely soft neutral color. It is created from a four and a quarter by 11 piece of cardstock that is scored at five and a half inches. The next step was to add a watercolor wash to each of the five postage square die cuts, which I die cut from watercolor paper. I used Pool Party ink and my Aqua Painter to add the color. I then hit it quickly with my embossing gun to speed up the drying process and then flicked clear water onto the square, dabbing it away with a paper towel, which lifted some of the colored ink and left pretty water spots behind. I also flicked some black alcohol ink for a fun splatter look. So I repeated that process for all five squares. Next, I watercolored my bird image. I stamped it onto a piece of watercolor paper with Versamark ink and then added black embossing powder and heat embossed it. I started with pretty and pink ink and added a blush to my bird's tummy and cheek and then colored its feathers with basic beige ink with shading in crumb cake um, just underneath the wing for some dimension. I die cut the bird with the coordinating country birdhouse dies and repeated the whole process a second time for a bird image for the inside of my card as well. To assemble my card, I added a strip of Pretty in Pink DSP to the left side of my embossed panel about a half an inch in. Then I glued each of my five postage die cuts on top of the strip. Because I added water to the watercolor paper, it is a little bit warped, and so it needs a little more convincing to lay flat. So I added extra pressure and took my time to ensure each piece was well adhered to the base. Once all my squares were added, I glued the panel to my card base with some Tombow glue, just centering it on the card base. And then I created my sentiment. I stamped the words onto a scrap of white cardstock in black ink, and then die cut it with another die from the postage die set. I had made a double bow with some black and white twine, and I added that behind my sentiment label with a glue dot, and then added dimensionals to the whole piece and layered it onto my base. I then added a dimensional to the back of my watercolored bird and had him perch just on top of the label on the front of the card. And then finally I added some rhinestones just scattered across the watercolored squares for some sparkle. For the inside of my card, I have a panel of white cardstock and a half inch strip of white cardstock that I embossed with that same embossing folder from the front of my card. And I just added my watercolor bird to the top of that and put the whole thing on the inside. And that is my completed project. 
please be sure to hop along using the links in the description box below to see what the rest of the night angels have for you this month and how they interpreted our sketch design. Thank you for stopping by and happy crafting.